Thick snow foam doesn't necessarily need it to achieve great results, but having the ability to create dense foam while happily enjoying the process on the way you want is an absolute need. However, finding the best tools and products on the market sometimes a pain in the bottom part and probably that is one of the many reasons you are watching this video right now. If you are here for a quick answer without the crack, yes, the new MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2 is one of the best choice at this moment and worth every hard earned penny. The MJJC Foam Lens isn't the cheapest option on the market, but you definitely have great value for your money by getting two extra mesh filters, a 1.1mm orifice and other spare parts in the box, which will probably be needed to replace later on, and including these in the box already saves you money on the long run, not to mention the headache it causes when you don't have these parts around when needed. MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2 is available for most pressure washers and you can choose the connection type of the one you have. I usually use a Cartier key for compact pressure washer, so mine came with that specific Cartier adapter. The main unit offers you above average features, which I will talk about more throughout this review, but I was really worried about the size of the bottle by the videos and pictures I have seen before, and I thought that's going to be huge, but let me tell you, I surprised how compact this bottle really is. The instructions by MJJC cover the most important things you need to know, but the quality of their box and papers aren't in pair with their foam lens, which is very high quality, heavily packed with features, and every minor things have been engineered to a point where you can tell. This isn't a cheaply built, general for a tenor Chinese lens, and when you will see them perform side by side, you will know why do I say something like this, but at the same time, all foam lens have their own place. The filter at the end of the suction tube is a really nice touch, also very handy for mixing the solution better while shaking the bottle, filter out the junk, and the biggest adventure is to following the solution in the bottle, whichever direction it goes, you will be able to use it without flowing issues. One of my favorite features out of the many is that MJJC foam lens is totally leak proof, and I can't tell you how happy I am because of this one and only feature itself. I found that very annoying when the mixture leaked everywhere whenever I shake or turn the bottle, well, not anymore. MJJC claims a 1.2 liters bottle capacity, which I didn't check out myself, so you take it or leave it, I was satisfied with the marks on the side, that's all I needed. ADB Yeti Pearl was the snow foam of my choice for today, which is a great all-rounder in my opinion, and in case you missed it, i leave a link in the description box below. Enough talking, the sun is killing, so let's foam up the car. I use a car chair key 7, and you can see here how stable the foam lens is, and I would like to thank you for the LEDs in auto detailing kings to have me around today on their busy day of working on the super Audi. MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2 really has the capability to provide epic snow foam alongside the features it has for a great overall user experience, but is this the right choice for you? I hope the following comparison section of this review will help you decide which type of foam lens is the best of your need, and if you are getting value out of this video so far, please shine up the like button and make that glossy, your support means a lot to me and very much appreciated. So if you have no pressure washers available, don't worry, I feel you, I was in your boot for quite some time, but an IK foam sprayer could do a job for you, however, with all the goodness it has, snow foaming the whole car is not ideal with that, you will definitely need a different approach 
approach to do that, like using it on one panel at a time. However, I found the result of foam very unsatisfying today because I used the exact same dilution ratio before with a much better outcome as you can see, but I changed the nozzle head and the filter for the purpose of this video and I think I messed up something so take this result with a grain of salt and stay tuned for the episode when I will dedicate a separate video for this IK foamer because it has its own place on the market, also a must have in your arsenal. Now on to the general Amazon bought budget foam lens also from China which I think is an average does its job type of option with the standard bottle and features. However, the thickness it provides with the 1.25 ml orifice isn't too satisfying so I recently upgraded that to a 1.1 ml orifice for an extra tenor which definitely was worth the investment money wise for a step up in thickness. But please keep that in mind, my satisfaction of this budget option is more or less thanks for this orifice upgrade. With that being said, the MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2 still provides thicker consistency with the standard 1.25mm orifice and I didn't want to change that and can't even imagine what could happen if I would do that, but here is the thing. MJJC claims a dense snow foam with the standard 1.25mm orifice and only recommends the 1.1mm orifice for those users who have a lower powered pressure washer with 90 to 110 bars. Anything above that could cause failure in the motor or simply won't work as it's supposed because of the kickback from the pressure of that tiny tiny hole. I currently use the lens with the Karcher Key 7 as I mentioned and I didn't want to risk that happen, hence it's not mine, I only took the risk with the budget option for the sake of this comparison. And as far as I see, I personally don't think you would need to change it either. But no one likes to being told what to do, so do whichever thing is the best to you. If you have a lower powered machine, you might want to give this a go. And the good news is, you can do it quick and simple by unscrewing the attachment and use a flathead screwdriver to remove the orifice. I really like that MJJC thought of this as well, very handy. I really want you to decide which foam lens is the best choice for your need, but if you ask me, I absolutely recommend getting the MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2 and I have no doubts about that you will like it very much, at least I really do. There is only one thing I don't really like and it might sound sort of ridiculous if we are considering both sides of the story. I experienced that MJJC uses noticeably more product, but let's be honest here, it creates an incredible snow foam shower as an exchange, so as much as I don't like this fact, at least this is a reasonable thing in my opinion. But I have a question for those who's using the MJJC foam cannon, do you experience the same or is it just me? Please let me know down below in the comment section. If you don't have one, let me know what foam lens do you currently use or planning to upgrade to? Watching reviews and videos about detailing products can't always give the best answers we are looking for. I didn't expect miracles from the MJJC Foam Canon Pro 2, however, everyone I follow had great overall feedback so far and let me tell you, the user experience is even better in person and this is what I took away while using this no foam lens today. For full disclosure, MJJC did send me their foam lens today for free of charge with the freedom of my words but I wouldn't hesitate for a single second to spend my own money on it because I'm very impressed with the overall user experience I'm having. You can find the links for all the products I've used today down below. If this was your first time here at Road to Detailing, I really hope you enjoyed. If you are into car care, please consider to subscribe for videos like this. Remember, likes are free or feel free to buy me a coffee and keep me going. All your support helps the channel growing and is much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Take care and see you soon.